Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Engineering Today, and I hope you're all having a great time. A NASA satellite is gearing up for a significant mission, one that aims to unravel the secrets hidden within the depths of our planet's oceans. The Plankton Aerosol Cloud Ocean Ecosystem, or PACE aircraft, poised atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, was launched from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station once in orbit. PACE will set out on a journey 420 miles above Earth, a vantage point about 70% higher than the International Space Station. The primary objective of the PACE mission is to evaluate the health of oceans globally. Equipped with three sophisticated science instruments, the spacecraft will focus on gathering data related to clouds, aerosols, and phytoplankton growth, ultimately providing insights into the color variations of the ocean. According to NASA officials, PACE will employ its advanced tools to measure the color and quantity of light, offering scientists a comprehensive understanding of microscopic algae types and their distribution across the oceans. These microscopic organisms, known as phytoplankton, play a crucial role in maintaining the health of Earth's oceans and marine life. The significance of this mission lies in its contribution to NASA's extensive record of over two decades of global satellite observations related to ocean biology, air quality, and climate. PACE's mission is not merely a short-term endeavor. It aims to continue its work for at least three years, provided everything unfolds as planned. The three science instruments aboard the 10.5-foot-long PACE spacecraft work in tandem to unlock the mysteries of ocean health. Let's delve into the specifics of each instrument and understand how they contribute to this vital mission. The first key instrument on board is designed to study clouds. Clouds have a significant impact on Earth's climate, and understanding their characteristics is crucial for climate research. PACE will gather valuable data on cloud formations, helping scientists refine their understanding of these atmospheric phenomena. The second instrument focuses on aerosols, tiny particles suspended in the atmosphere. Aerosols influence air quality, weather patterns, and have far-reaching implications for climate. By analyzing aerosol concentrations, PACE will provide essential information for researchers studying atmospheric dynamics and their broader impacts on our planet. The third and perhaps most critical instrument is dedicated to observing phytoplankton, the microscopic green algae that thrive in the ocean. Phytoplankton serve as the foundation of marine food webs, playing a pivotal role in the global carbon cycle and oxygen production. PACE will capture data on phytoplankton growth, offering valuable insights into the state of ocean ecosystems. The mission's emphasis on understanding ocean color is not a mere aesthetic pursuit. It holds the key to unraveling the intricacies of marine life. The color variations observed from space indicate the presence and abundance of phytoplankton, allowing scientists to track changes in their distribution over time. By comprehensively studying these three components, clouds, aerosols, and phytoplankton, PACE aims to provide a holistic picture of ocean health. This understanding is crucial not only for the scientific community, but also for policymakers and the general public. Healthy oceans are vital for sustaining life on Earth regulating climate, and supporting ecosystems that millions depend on for their livelihoods. NASA's commitment to monitoring our planet from space has yielded invaluable insights over the years. The PACE mission represents another leap forward in harnessing space technology to address pressing environmental challenges. The data collected by PACE will not only enhance our understanding of current ocean conditions, but also contribute to long-term monitoring efforts enabling scientists to detect trends and changes in ocean health over time. Moreover, the elevated orbit of PACE, 70% higher than the International Space Station, provides a unique perspective that allows for a more comprehensive view of Earth's oceans. This higher orbit expands the coverage area and enhances the resolution of data collected, ensuring a more detailed and accurate portrayal of oceanic conditions. It's important to recognize the collaborative efforts to make such missions possible. 
the partnership between NASA and SpaceX, exemplified by the Falcon 9 rocket carrying Pace into orbit, highlights the importance of collaboration in advancing scientific exploration. On the other hand, SpaceX is gearing up for a series of frequent launches of its massive Starship vehicle in the coming months, as revealed in new photos shared by the company. The images showcase the bustling activity at the Mega Bay, located at the Starbase site in South Texas, which serves as the focal point for Starship production and launch operations. The Mega Bay itself is filled to the brim with towering stainless steel cylinders, specifically the Super Heavy Boosters, which constitute the first stage of SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket. These boosters, seen in the photos, reach impressive heights, almost touching the roof of the Mega Bay. In a recent post, SpaceX provided insights into the ongoing preparations, stating, Super heavy boosters for the next three flights, with a fourth ready to stack, in the Starbase Mega Bay. Notably, Booster 13 has been fully assembled on the left turntable in Mega Bay 1. Interestingly, the grid fins, typically added beforehand, are missing in this case. This departure from the usual process has been observed before with boosters 7 and 8, although it remains an unusual practice. Amidst the hustle and bustle, workers are currently engaged in the removal of an RVAC engine. Additionally, there's anticipation for the Federal Aviation Administration to issue a Starship launch license in the latter part of February, setting the stage for an action-packed month for SpaceX. A notable event on the horizon is the Intuitive Machines plan to launch for a lunar landing on February 22nd, coinciding with the scheduled launch of Crew-8 on the same day. However, as with any complex operation, there are inherent caveats regarding potential delays and unforeseen challenges. Notably, Ship-28, equipped with Raptor engines, is undergoing engine removal for reasons yet to be disclosed. Ship-28 is slated to participate in the upcoming Starship Integrated Test Flight, and currently Booster 13 is in turn for stacking, situated alongside three other completed boosters within the Mega Bay. Adding to the dynamic activity, two additional sections of Starbase Tower 2 are en route from Roberts Road. These sections, totaling four, are destined for the Turn Basin, where they'll be shipped to Texas, further contributing to the ongoing developments at the Starbase site. The mention of the FAA's expected issuance of a Starship launch license in mid to late February adds a regulatory dimension to SpaceX's plans. Regulatory approvals are crucial milestones for space missions, ensuring compliance with safety standards and environmental regulations. The timing aligns with the company's ambitious schedule, pointing towards a busy period ahead. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.